वैल्यूज एम बी थ्री और मॉडल बेस्ड टेस्टिंग फर्स्ट लेट मी टेल यू दिस मॉडल बेस्ड टेस्टिंग इज अ ब्लैक बॉक्स टेस्टिंग एंड हियर इट यूजेस द रिक्वायरमेंट मॉडल फॉर द टेस्ट केस जनरेशन सो यू डोंट नीड टू गो इन टू द डिटेल ऑफ द the structure part or the internal part of a software the requirement model is the basis so the mbt it uses employs the uml state diagrams under this requirement modeling we have made certain state diagrams use case diagram sequence diagram so we will use the state diagram for making the model based testing or doing the model based testing because this is the element of a behavioral model so here because the name is suggesting we will create models we will not do the actual thing for example if this is say a website and you are clicking somewhere say add to cart some other some other buttons should come up so we have to model it that when we click that other button what will happen to the previous button so these are the models that is in the web page for example which page we are going in which page which section a user can go where he can navigate maybe he can go from 1 to say 3 1 to 2 different pages he can go which section he is going to go so this needs to be modeled and that can be done using the behavioral model which is the state diagrams so model based testing requires five major step because this this involves creating also that is we will analyze an existing behavioral model if this behavioral model is there it is okay otherwise you need to create a behavioral model in order to do the model based testing because behavioral model is what it shows it indicates how your software is going to respond or act when an external event or a stimuli or a stimulus is there that is some software is given basically we are trying to talk about the event driven some events some some stimulus we have already discussed how to create these model behavioral model but uh, let me give you a brief hint evaluate all the use cases just to understand the sequence of interaction within the system first use case is the basis then the interaction you have to understand and identifying the events that drive the interaction sequence and understand how these event relate to specific objects that is how the interaction is going on which event is producing what then we have to create a sequence for each of these use cases use cases that is the requirement so now you have to build a uml that is a unified modeling language state diagram for the whole system understanding the point 1 2 3 and this state diagram once you have made you have to review the behavioral model for accuracy and consistency also this behavioral model will the will be the basis of model based testing the ste- second step is what because already we have made behavioral model so this already we have made and as i said this state diagram is the basis so this state diagram we have to traverse this behavioral model and then we have to specify the inputs that will enforce that will change the software from state to state or transit it from state to state then we have to review the behavioral model and then we have to see what are the expected result for example the state is changing a is 1 a becomes 2 so we have to note the expected outputs for each uh, set of inputs that is the test cases which are specified in the step 2 we have to specify the expected outputs as in the behavioral model then we have to do it means actually execute the test cases this can be done manually or we can use the test script and we can use the testing tool main cheese main thing is we have to see the expected result and the 
एक्चुअल रिजल्ट इफ देर इज सम यू नो नॉन करस्पॉन्डेंस करेक्टिव एक्शन इज रिक्वायर्ड सो एमबीटी इज अनकवरिंग द एरर्स ऑफ बिहेवियर सॉफ्टवेयर बिहेवियर सो एज आई सेड एमबीटी इज एक्सट्रीमली यूजफुल वेर द इवेंट ड्रिवन एप्लीकेशन इज द मेन कॉन्टेक्स्ट 